beautiful friends and welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of January 6th and what a week it is. We are busy, busy beetles around here. Lots of planetary cosmic things happening that are not gonna just impact us individually. We've got global energies on the move here. So let's jump in and talk about what's happening this week. But first I wanna tell you, Astrology 101 and 102 are now open for enrollment. You can find the link in the description box down below and classes will begin in February and go until April. April. And if you've never taken a cool online class with me, it is not a video. You can definitely take the class by video, but you get me live every week. We're going to be together in class, learning these things, learning how to put these charts together and speak the language of astrology. So I hope to see you in there. Okay. All right. Right at the beginning of the week, one of the biggest things that we've got happening is that Jupiter, who is our planet of expansion and wisdom, just so much wisdom is going to be coming on the 8th into conjunction with the transiting south node. Now the south node is a very karmic place, right? It is a place where we're working on what's going on inside. But it is ultimately being in the south node position, the energies of the past. So as wisdom meets the energies of our karmic pasts, these are a signal to us that we need to be looking over things from the past, from this past year. What have you seen in your life? What have you seen in your communities that are still valid and valuable to you to bring forward? Which things have you seen that you're ready to detach from, right? That transiting south node energy being in the energy of Capricorn. Where have you been in the way of your own achievements and your own victories this year? Where is there something maybe in your business or the way that you arrange life in order to be successful that you need to detach from? Where are these ideas that you have where you're holding yourself back, right? And you can detach from them. Jupiter is going to help you see the wisdom and the endurance to step to the other side, which is that transiting north node that says, hey, let's nurture us. Let's nurture these ideas. Let's move this thing forward as opposed to being in the position of hold back. But on the 8th and the 9th of this week, these are important days energetically to be reflecting. What have you learned over this last past year? What have you seen that you can be available to detach from, okay? Then as we continue on the week, we have got this other celestial event that everybody's talking about, and you can watch my separate video on it as well, but it is the full moon lunar eclipse happening at 20 degrees of Cancer on the 10th of January. Now, this is, first of all, we think of eclipses in terms of like cycles and pairs, so we're going to have one now, and then by the time we come to the end of the year, we will have had the other moon energy happening in Cancer, so it's kind of like there's one here and there's one here, and we do life in between them because they give us amped up energy or they give us changes for the next six months. So this is gonna be our first one. This Cancer full moon has a lot to do with not only just being the full moon, but also being a lunar eclipse. So the full moon, we would get energy, we would get impact for about four weeks. In a lunar eclipse, that's where we see the six months worth, worth of work coming in, okay? So what this is telling us at this lunar eclipse is that something needs to end, something needs to be adjusted, or there is something we need to make an acknowledgement to in order to allow the adjustments to happen for us to move forward. The moon being at home in the ruling sign of cancer at this particular um, moon event tells us that there is an intensity that does come with this. The moon is very comfortable working here, so he's going to beam quite fully in this energy. So where do you need to nurture? nurture yourself? Where do you need nurturing? Where do you need to look over where your tribe is, where your family's at? Um, what skills, what talents are you needing to nurture? What is something that maybe you're needing to bring to an end so that something else can go ahead and begin in that particular space? This particular full moon, I'm going to tell you too, that as things like maybe projects, businesses, um, you know, maybe you're coming home from visiting your family, something like that, as things are coming to an end, something else will creep up and begin right in there as well. And if if on the 10th it doesn't all feel abundantly clear as to what your next steps are, don't worry, we've got other energies coming during the week that are going to help you see exactly what motion you can take, what actions you can take in that energy to allow that um, north node moon area to really expand and move forward. Now another thing I just want to point out, at this particular lunar eclipse, I wouldn't on the 10th or the 11th, sign any important documents, contracts, paperwork, something significant like that. I would just wait. It's a lot of energy and things can be a little bit rocky in there, but you don't stop life because of astrology. Trust your gut, trust your intuition, trust your faith, okay? 
All right, as we get to the 11th, we've got Uranus, our planet of surprise, right? And Uranus is this energy that brings spontaneity. He brings innovation. He brings um, just newness. He gets you out of the rut, for sure, to the table. And he's been in retrograde motion since 2019. So while he was retrograde, we were looking over the areas in our life that do feel stuck, the areas in our life where we do know and feel that we are a little bit stubborn, even glowing. Globally, we have had to have a lot of expansion. There's a lot of talk about the millennials out there. There's a lot of talk about technology. We've got conversations about this hybrid version of capitalism and socialism coming together. So we're seeing that Uranus has had this impact of us looking over generations and decades of thinking to kind of figure out where we need to innovate. Now, as Uranus comes out of retrograde, he's traveling in the energy of Taurus. So this signals a couple things for us. First of all, you'll have an understanding of what you need to keep and what you need to change based on what Uranus has been showing you. In the energy of Taurus, he's likely been showing you something very physical in the physical material plane that needs adjusting in your life because it's like these structures won't work here anymore. We need to tear them down and innovate. So think about that. Where have you been shown in your material life, in your Taurus energies, that you need to innovate? Because now as he's out of retrograde, he's going to travel forward and he's going to bring you different people, different activities, different sources that are going to help you in the very material outside world to do this level of innovation that needs to be done. Now, on the 11th or 12th, just depending on where you live, we're going to have this great Saturn and Pluto planetary alignment. This is a great conjunction for us. It is a big energy, and it is on the heels of a Jupiter south node conjunction, this eclipse energy. Uranus is coming out of retrograde. So it is a big week of energy, right? And some of us might not be comfortable in it. You might be riding the wave this week like, oh, stop the planet. I want to get off. You know what I mean? But don't give off. Don't get off and don't give up, okay? This is Capricorn energy we're going to achieve in this energy. Now, Saturn and Pluto coming together is life-changing. This is a planetary alignment that only happens about every 34 years. So this is a big deal. It's a big deal to our world, and it's a big deal to you because you are still on this planet and on this vibe because you still fit the theme of the story of what's going on in the world. The things that don't fit anymore, Pluto energy is going to work on and say, these things need to die off. They need to change. They can't stay the way that they were. They have got to die off and live in a different way. Pluto is a very Phoenix energy right? So from our social systems, our um, global social ideas, our cultural beliefs, down to the personal things happening in your life, your beliefs about achievement, all of these things are getting the opportunity to die off so that they can live differently. Now Saturn as a part of that energetic evolutionary pull is going to say, yep, I'm going to mature you. I'm going to take this to the next level, right? I'm going to raise this up because this can be great. This can be effective. This can be a structure and a foundation you can stand on for the next 34 years. So it's a very big energy. What it can feel like towards us and for us is it can feel a little bit like loss, right? Like we feel like the bottom is falling out of something. We feel like something is just greatly changing. And for some people, depending on the alignment in your chart, it will feel like, yes, this is my saving grace. Thank goodness this has come around. But for many, it could just feel like loss. But remember we had that lunar eclipse and maybe you weren't completely sure what you needed to do on that north node side. But now as Saturn and Pluto come into this conjunction and you start to feel that pull, you'll go, oh, I need to work on the other side because it will directly give me impact on this side to make these changes that the universe is asking me to cosmically, spiritually, material, materially get on board with, right? So you have helpers this week. And what else did you get to see this week? You got to look at Jupiter and the South Note traveling together. What from your past was still valuable? What did you see? Because it's all in Capricorn energy. What you saw can't stay. But what you saw that does still work, Uranus is going to support you with the people, with the organizations, with the future plans to help that plan out, pan out. Now, a couple of things that I want to just 
point out in terms of the timing of this big Saturn Pluto alignment is first of all, I did a Saturn and Pluto conjunction video. Please check it out because I would love for you to see the history, track the planets and track the timing of how these things have played into your world. And if you are just 30 years old, then that's okay. We can still see how it was working in your world. Maybe you have the conjunction in your chart itself, something like that. So let's take a look at it. Check out that video so that you can see how this large but very slow moving evolutionary alignment is actually coming up to help us from everywhere from our personal homes all the way to our economic, social, global business that we will be doing over the next year. When we talk about a year being profoundly different in creating change, these are the evolutionary energies we're talking about, you guys. We are entering into a time where the 80s babies, you're gonna take center stage, okay? Go team 80s, we're gonna be stepping up to put a lot of things in motion. And we've got all of these other generations to also lean into for their um, information, their experience, their wisdom. We've got these younger generations who are just so entirely um, intuitive that they actually get to benefit from the Saturn ener energy by seeing that it does need to be structured, just not all woo-woo. It's just not all the realm of the spirit. There has to be something in the material. So this is a beautiful time, especially with this lunar eclipse in Cancer, to see that as a global united family, we need each of us to put these pieces together, even the pieces that challenge us as well. So you guys, I think that this is a catalyst like week for us. I can't wait to see how this is developing and playing out in your life. I will absolutely be sharing my business this year with you. It is too good this year. I want to talk about how this is playing out over here as well and share the journey with you. So share with me down below if you'd like to and you feel comfortable. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I hope to see you in Astrology 101 and 102. And yes, birthday appointments will be coming out just shortly as well, okay? I love you guys so much and I'll see you next week. Bye, everybody.